There are 3.9 million square miles of pavement in the United States and 40 million acres of turf grass. Turf grass uses more herbicide, pesticide, and fertilizer per acre than any other crop. And every year we use 800 million gallons of gasoline in the United States just to mow lawns. Here in Colorado, the average person uses 90 gallons of water per day just to keep exotic landscaping on life support. In the late 1990s, Chad and Troy McWinney brought the plans for the 3,000-acre development called Sentara to the City of Loveland Planning Department. And at that time, the city said that at build-out, the 3,000-acre development would be 20% open space. So that's a 600-acre open space. McWinney hired a group called Cedar Creek to do a habitat study measuring the existing wildlife habitat. And based on that, they created some setbacks around these two lakes, Equalizer Lake and Houts Reservoir. Chad and Troy were working with McStain neighborhoods. McStain's president, Tom Hoyt, is a lifelong developer and conservationist. And he always said that you can't talk about development and conservation as if they're two different things. They are one and the same. So where bulldozers are out pushing dirt around, that's where you have the opportunity to create some habitat and some natural areas. When I began here 12 years ago, we owned this land, but we didn't really manage the land. We design, build, and manage natural areas in the midst of development. I call this 21st century conservation. 21st century conservation is about what we can restore as far as nature in the communities that we design and build. Well, from our collaboration with McWinney, we have helped to restore hundreds of acres within this development. Through that collaboration, we were certified by the National Wildlife Federation as the only wildlife habitat community in the state of Colorado. And this has so become the identity of this neighborhood is that it's actually marketed by the developer as certified wild. And I think the magic of that is people will move here because they want to be where you can connect with nature. That creates a demographic that is sympathetic to our vision, who wants to be part of restoring natural areas and volunteering and, and learning about nature. And it, it helps the developer to market the neighborhood, it helps to fund the environmental center. It creates a place for wildlife in the midst of urban development. So there are a lot of, a lot of wins in that equation.